Yeah, fuck this fan fight. In fact, fuck every fan fight. I'm sorry. This is practically the first time I've done a video format like this since my Show It Must Die video, which I removed from my channel for obvious reasons. Because for reasons not obvious, it was a little too personal, even for me. And oversharing is not something I do. I'm pretty sure somebody has already recorded it already, but, uh, hey. Um, okay. The Goku versus Superman fight. Um, to be honest, I used to think that Goku would win a fight against Superman simply because he's a Saiyan. And another thing also is that I based this entirely on non-comic book related Superman media, such as the movies and the TV show. Especially the animated series where Superman was shown to be super, 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 super flawed. And super nerfed. And that was the biggest mistake of my life. I won't discuss the merits of what Rooster Teeth, formerly known as Screw Attack, did in terms of research, but as far as I'm concerned, Superman had that fight. And I watched the first fight. Then the second round came in. Even when Son Goku had that Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue thing going, Superman still won. And now we have a third battle. Now, between the second fight and the third fight, there is so much going wrong with the Dragon Ball fandom. And let's make one thing clear. I love Dragon Ball. I enjoy it. I really love the living heck out of this series. It's a great manga franchise. It's a great series. It gave me some of my favorite characters, one of which in the form of Son Gohan. Some of the best arcs ever, if you exclude GT and Super. But, uh, yeah. It's a fantastic, it's a fantastic franchise. Any way you slice it. The problem I have, of course, lies in some of the people in its fan base. Like, a lot of their, like, for one, a lot of their research is based solely on the English dub. Not that the, not that the English dub is terrible, it has its merits, but that's the last thing you want to rely on. Second, they primarily focused on the fact that when a Saiyan is beaten to near death, they get a nice little Zenkai boost here and there. I might be wrong on this one, but uh, if it's true, let me know. I mean, but then again, to be a Saiyan makes them stronger. Another problem I've had, and this is pretty much almost irrelevant with the main point of this video, is some fans tend to compare themselves to Saiyans. Some far more odd than the, than the others. And another thing is that whenever a new shonen anime or manga comes out, or whenever a new comic book or piece of media comes out where the character is dumb strong or whatever, they always like to say, oh, I bet he can't beat Goku in a fight. Like, Son Goku is a fucking measuring stick to some people in this fan base, and it's stupid. Another problem I have is them saying that Son Goku is a very terrible dad. When the manga and anime adaptations have clearly stated that this man is more than just, oh, I just want the smoke with everybody. No, the man fights to protect everything he cares about. He's much more than just his heritage. He fights for the people he loves as well. Otherwise, this manga franchise would not have happened, well rather, it would not have continued after the 23rd arc to begin with. The 23rd martial arts tournament arc. It w nothing would have happened past that, if that was the case. Or it would have happened differently. But what used to be a fun, harmless thing to do in terms of Dragon Ball and other media has now become an annoyance. 
It's become unbearable to deal with as time goes on. And it really embarrasses the fandom outright. Like, you go in social media, and there's always the same goddamn shtick over and over again. Goku's a bad father. Saiyans are the most powerful things in the universe. Bar none. Saiyans are essentially black people. The whole nine. And I'm so fucking tired of people embarrassing the Dragon Ball fan base like this. It's it's ridiculous. Like but no, the real issue out of all of this is Son Goku is the measuring stick for every character that dares to be super powerful, that dares to be able to lift up planets, and universes, or anything. I wouldn't be surprised if Gurren Lagann was challenged by Son Goku in a fight. Like the living in, like the mechanized borderline embodiment of probability squaring up against an alien viking against alien vikings and this is probably the dumbest thing I'm ever going to say if anything else that I have no interest in this third round in the third round between Goku and Superman. I am not, because I already know that Superman is going to win. And I know that the extreme half of the Dragon Ball fan base is going to lose their collective crap. Even the more moderate ones are starting to become far more immature. And it is just nerve-wracking to deal with. You'd hate to see it. Like, I'm sorry, but after the second fight, I stopped giving a damn, because this is ridiculous. Why are people putting so much stock on Son Goku like this? And yet these are the same people that say that he's a terrible father. And the only thing he's ever going to do is lie to Gohan, Goten, and Chi Chi that, hey, I'm going to get some milk when he's actually training. That's one of two things I just cannot stand when you think of Dragon Ball fandoms. Because it is... I'm sorry. Like, I don't see why Wiz and Boost have even entertained this insanity. Like, you can do a fourth round, fifth round, sixth round. Goku has a brand new power up per chapter or per episode. Mostly chapter because we haven't seen in a legit Drag Ball series with the exception of the upcoming Daima. But, um, yeah. Like, this is stupid at this point. I am just frustrated just thinking about this. But here I am making this video because this has gone on long enough. I'm tired of this. Can I just enjoy other anime and not have these bastards just bring up good old measuring stick Son Goku? To see if this new character is just as powerful enough to challenge Goku in a fight. I'm sorry to say this, but there's going to be somebody that can basically wipe Goku off the map. And there are many characters that can do this. And no, I am not doing research on this either. Because the only thing that's going to do is incite more problems that I've already attracted just making this video in the first place. I don't know where to begin here. It's like, why are we still doing this? Why? What does one hope to benefit from this? Other than to annoy everybody in the nerd community by just pulling up and saying, oh, I bet such and such can't beat Goku. I get it. Son Goku likes to challenge himself whenever he hears about strong opponents. I get that. I understand that. It's part of his character. 
But I don't think many of the people in the Dragon Ball fan base truly understand who Goku is. Like, they literally don't. Even if they read the manga or watched the anime and consumed every other piece of Dragon Ball related memorabilia, you still wouldn't understand any of the Dragon Ball characters, least of all its protagonist. And what makes this even worse is that Toriyama and Toyotaro, yes, Toro, Toyotaro, because that person is also responsible for playing their part in the Dragon Ball creation game, have assassinated this character to holy hell. Like, we put, we have put, the problem here is we have put Son Goku so high up a goddamn pedestal that it has become a nuisance. Like, nobody wants to mess with a Dragon Ball fan anymore simply because of how we treat our character, our favorite character. And the reason why we're putting Toriyama and Toriyotaro on the chopping block is also because they assassinated the character after the end of the manga's run. Like, yeah, sure. Goku might be unworldly up here, but he's not entirely stupid. But after the manga has ended its run, a lot of people have basically turned Goku into that one kid who came out of the special ed bus. Just throw in a helmet and some drool and we'd be set. Which is, if we're being honest, entirely unsettling when it comes to writing such a character. And this does answer the question, yes, even creators of their own work tend to assassinate their own characters. And that is possible. And that is not something that a creative should always, that's not something that a creator should ever do at all. <sighs> that being said, I'm just ending the video here because you like my whole point is Goku versus Superman is like Goku versus Superman is just straight up retarded. It's insane. Superman won that fight. I don't have to watch it. I don't even want to. I'm not fucking interested in this fight. If you even tell me to watch round four or round five, I'm just gonna tell you straight up no, because this is stupid. Dragon Ball is one of my favorite franchises in anime. It's, it's actually the third series that got me into the series. That got me into this form of media. And to see my favorite franchise hold out like this by the fans, more so than the creative team, is insane. And I'm thoroughly fed up with the slander, character assassination, and the unmerited over-obsession with comparing every other character from different mediums to the Saiyan race, least of all Goku. But yeah, that ends my rant. If you disagree with what I say, that's fine. It's whatever at this point, just let me know in the comments. And just don't ask me to watch the fight because Goku's gonna win. Goku's gonna lose this one again for the third time. Probably for the fourth, fifth, and sixth or seven millionth time. Please stop asking Rooster Teeth to do these fights like this. Like, other Dragon Ball characters have won before, so... <sighs> this is show signing out. See ya.